Louisiana University researchers believe that the government may have dramatically understated how much oil was spilled into the Gulf of Mexico. The Louisiana scientists believe NOAA's method for estimating the volume of oil may be flawed. The story new at 530. The material is great. In Cogadry, Dr. Paul Samarco unfurls a 15-foot long piece of fabric, a highly absorbent material that could spark a whole new debate over how much oil remains in the Gulf. Samarco and a team from the Louisiana University's Marine Consortium, LUMCON, sampled waters over a month after BP plugged the well. He was astonished at what he found versus the official NOAA samples. And I kept looking at the data and looking at them again, looking at them again and saying, why? Why are they the same? They, they shouldn't be the same. What was even more surprising was where the government got its samples. In late June, just a couple miles from BP's Macondo Well, the Lumcon research boat worked in Terrebonne Bay, 50 miles northwest of the spill site, seven weeks later. I can tell it when to release, and it's going to make a pop here. NOAA scientists used a tried-and-true method of dropping canisters at various depths to measure what was down there. But... This video, shot by a LUMCON researcher, shows that globs of oil could be seen in the water column with the naked eye. The canisters are actually, they're, they're great design and they're, they're really good for what they're designed to do. That is, to sample something that's been dissolved in a body of water. Samarco likens it to aliens landing from a distant world using tubes to capture humans and estimate the population, but missing the cities. Off the top of your head, you would think, of course it's all dissolved. Well, Yes, with time. Samarco so believes Noah missed the oil gloves. Are they just vastly understating how much oil was or is there? I, I guess I'm raising that question. Yeah, I'm saying, I'm saying, my feeling is that it's an underestimate of what was actually there. In 20 minutes or so, the Lumcon boat dragging the absorbent material went through 6,000 liters of water. One of the canisters the Noah scientists used holds about two liters. Let me put it this way. It'd be real easy to miss it. Piece of cake to miss it. If a canister happened to capture one of those globs, Dr. Samarco points out that NOAA's numbers would have skyrocketed. We were not able to reach a NOAA spokesperson today for comment on our story.